Hey guys, this is Josh, aka that one ginger. Uh, playing a few games for uh, for Halloween. Halloween is just around the corner. Figured I'd hop into it, spice it up a little bit, play some spooky horror games. This was called Paranormal Entities. Uh, you're pretty much in exploring this whole abandoned manor. That's usually the case. Uh, and you're you're hunting ghosts. So yeah, it's supposed to be spooky. I saw the screenshots. It looks pretty spooky. Uh, all right, Clint. Uh, Cliff, 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 Cliff. Welcome to the Saint Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. Oh, the mentally ill. Nice. Good things about you. Also, I can't sprint. And a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let oh, you know when you take those out. Do I gotta get ready okay. to pay off some of those college debts and beer debts? Well, of course you are. <laughs> and when you're ready, Jesus. enter in through those front doors. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure thing. Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh. Nice. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the Saint Augustine. I wasn't expecting voice acting, honestly. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you drop your problems off and they disappeared. So I've noticed that while he's talking, I can't actually go anywhere. <laughs> Little annoying. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, okay. the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room naked, starving, attacking each other at random, oh, okay. playing yep. themselves with metal wires from mm. their beds. Be careful where you step. Gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. What? Alright, this is a good place to start. Why oh, okay. Take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. <laughs> Already on it. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Oh, no. Show us that you are in this room. Why is it that ghosts to interact with anything? Never like to be summoned. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Could have something to do with uh, the fact that okay, maybe they're sleeping. You know, maybe they don't want to wake up from their nap. Know that you're here. Did you say they know that I'm here? Excuse me. You're just gonna leave on that? Uh, nothing. All right, let's try it again. Oh, uh, okay. All right. I, uh, okay, I'm going here now. <laughs> All right. I don't think this all right, all right, let's <laughs> small of a distance will really make Ghost a difference, but... Saint Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. To Dude. Give us a sign that you are here. Tell you're gonna get me possessed, bro. Where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. You can scream. All right, no. Yeah, let's try one more spot. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Ghosts of Saint Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Uh, Show up. There you go. Or piss off. Whoa! Okay. Did not expect that to scare me. Did you hear that? What about? Did you see Frick. that? Show up or piss off. Dude. Okay, that's the sound. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want yeah, you no to shit. go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Which one's the morgue? Okay, so I assume the morgue is in one of these four doors. I must say, always implement sprinting in your games, please. Okay, I don't want to walk at a snail's pace the whole the whole time. Contract, the e social area is the first on the list. This is the area oh, where perfect. the inmates were deemed a danger to society. Convened. That's You'll fucking go disgusting. To this room and a summoning ceremony. So oh my god. Walk into the center and we will begin. Walk into the center. Okay. Really wish I could sprint. I I guess that's supposed to add to the atmosphere or the tension, I guess, not being able to run around. Makes sense. This is the entrance to patient cell 200 to 219. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Mm. Not necessarily dangerous, 
but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Yeah, what a bummer, dude. You know what else sucks? The fact that I'm the one in this position. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths, the worst of the worst. The litter bugs. People will cut you off on the road. Ah, the, the worst. But the truth the is worst kinds worse. of people. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never... Oh, I thought you said memer. I'm like, what? Excuse me? He came here to the legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. And in constant constipation. Too. Let's just start the ceremony. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get this out of the way. Hold on. Uh, it looks like someone with leprosy. You know what's funny? <laughs> One of my friends had a YouTube name called Lop Lassie, which was very eerily close. Spirits inside this asylum. Okay, this we isn't. Know that you're here. We release you from your restraint. Well, this Come is no bueno, and I'm stuck. Again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. Oh. You may be seen in a right, look at her arms freaking out. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, dude. Jump scare. Oh, boy. Don't do that. Ain't no need. Don't just stand there. Go. Wait, go I couldn't, dude. Out. I was stuck. What do you want from me? Wheelchair. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. We're gonna get some pussy. <laughs> dude, I haven't played a horror game in a while. Okay, don't judge me. Okay, is that necessary? What? What? You're overdoing it! Sound like a tiger! What the hell happened there? Oh, nice boxes. I they got a little carried away with packing. Jesus Christ. Oh, got another door here. Whoa! 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 Wheelchair! <laughs> Spooky Silent Hill wheelchair. Uh... Oh, hey! What's up? <clears throat> wow, okay. Uh, that was a little underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. Get the hell out of there. Just, just go to the front door and get out. Alright, I mean, I would, I would love to run if I could. If I could go faster than two miles per hour, I would really, I would really appreciate it. Is anyone even chasing me? Get out of this hallway and then take a take your There's no right. threat. There's no threat. Look, there's <laughs> Okay, whatever. Let's let's go, I guess. Well, I'll, I'll follow your rules. I know for sure we're going to get a final jump scare though. That's I feel like that's the kind of game we're playing now. They definitely overdid it with the jump scares. I will say that. I, I like the first few. The first few actually got me, but now it's just like, okay. Door's locked. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay. There's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor and you should be next a fire escape, you should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. What, uh, what staircase? Okay, behind this door. Oh, okay. You could have told me it was <laughs> the door it was behind, dude. Not really helping, man. What the fuck? What? Is there a drop off? There? That's weird. Not what, buddy? Try this door open. Mm -hmm. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Okay, cool. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. What? What? This one? This place doesn't even have a basement. The, what? What is going on? Alright, alright, just... I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. I hear some spooky spooky crying. Yeah, I hear you, girl. I hear you. <clears throat> oh, nice. Oh, another pentagram. Cool. Oh, perfect. Instead of like, instead of like roses leading to the bed, it's candles. Awesome. 
the fuck is that's just that's just nasty cool. <sighs> you fucking cunt <laughs> you little slut of course another long corridor what are you gonna throw at me this time huh another scare you gonna run at me again Wait, you know what? I'm gonna call. There's gonna be someone who's gonna run across right here. No. I'm impressed. Cool. Oh. What the fuck? Pulling some layers of fear on me. What the fuck? What? 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 It's saying there's a door here. What? No, don't see. Don't see. Don't see. No eyes. Because you can't see that. Yeah, it's saying that. Oh, hey. Do I have to look up? It still got me. You guys didn't see it, but it still got me. Even though I already saw it. The fuck, man? That was great. Like I, I, I saw it before the jump scare even happened. It was so like ass backwards. Hola. Ooh, ooh. What the fuck? Some big ass eyeballs. All right, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. There was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man. Mm. And uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations. And right. Aggressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Right. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while okay. he was soaked in his blood from his <laughs> sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So... Try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. You know, I gotta admit, at least we have a body. Not many games give us a body. Oh. It's, it's very nice. Also, uh, I don't know if I want to roll it out too soon, but I want to say these are original assets. Uh, at least those eyes are. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. I'm sorry, what? Well, yeah, the flashlight broke. Okay, I'm sure. I bet. What the? F Ugh. Yeah, but he's behind a barred. He's behind a barred fence. I or a barred gate, not fence. I mean, you're making it out to be like. Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. Whoops! I didn't think he was actually chasing. Okay. All right. I haven't played a game this bad in a long time. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not bad. It got me. It still continues to get me, but I don't know. It's just... The fuck? That's a realistic sounding reaction. Are you all right? I know you're not, huh? Holy crap. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. 
Bad news is it's pitch black. Bad news is you can't no see it. Flashlight went out, and and we we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I I do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm Dude, I can't no. see. You're gonna have to go in there, man. You're gonna have to take uh, one for the team. I'm sorry. Did you forget I'm blind? What? We're not coming. What? I'm sorry, man. You just gonna leave me here? I have to go. Oh fuck you. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Take your sorry and shove it. Paranormal entities. Ah, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, I mean. <sighs> It's not a bad game. It was made for the Scream Jam, by the way, uh, the most recent one of uh, this year. And um, there's a few other games uh, that I'm going to be playing in this video that were made by that same jam uh, for Itch.io. So, I don't know. It's it's okay. It, was, it wasn't anything special. It was kind of just like roaming around in a hotel, or a hotel, uh, an asylum, and it's the stereotypical crazy asylum. As far as scares go, it got me a good, a good amount. So, uh... Good for you. That was kind of the goal, I guess, was to get spooked. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next game. So this one is called Inside, and let me just pull up the, the thing real quick. From what it says, it's talking of a big game right off the get-go. It's saying it's a very unique horror game. So what is it? It's a horror game that uses certain elements, concepts, and ideas to trigger the instinct for natural primal fear, like most horror games. Players are provided with a full story and four endings. Wow, four endings. You will not be disappointed by inside. Fucking better not be. Flashlight F, EMF meter, excuse me? Make no- what? Interesting, so we can make noise for some reason. And we also have an EMF meter. Okay, inside is four endings. Here are the requirements for each ending. Normal ending, okay. Well, don't tell me how to get the endings, dude. What? That spoils it. Now I know how to get the endings. Do not make noise. Speaking in real life does not impact the game. Okay, okay, good to know. Bumping into objects makes noise. Collect and read diary. Okay. Just hop and do this. <laughs> Fucking, really? <laughs> Is it necessary? Oh, someone in the PJs. Andreas Benet. Oh, God. Oh no, popped his head. The sweater he's wearing looks like Freddy Krueger's. <laughs> Wait, no. No, his has stripes on it. This dude just popped his fucking head, dude. Like a cherry. Why? Inside. Why would you do that? What's wrong with you, you crazy son of a bitch? You crazy fool? Oh. My microphone. Uh, excuse me? Boy, when you shoot your head, you're dead, alright? Ain't none of that. Back from the dead mumbo jumbo. Ooh. Very solid looking so far. It's like the shit I took earlier. I need to feed the fucking energy. What? What? Okay, first of all, <laughs> what? Okay, it's locked. Oh, and you have a, you have a lot of fridges, dude. Oh, we got a key. Nice. Got a lab key. I assume goes to the lab door. Oh, first puzzle solved. This is gonna be one of those games with just <sighs> jump scare after jump scare. Ooh, hey, bud. How you doing? The fuck is this? That's a human body, dude. You ever? You're one of those. I can't do this. Oh well, I skipped a few diary entries. Jesus Christ. Fifteen of fifteen. I can't do this anymore. I'm blowing a fucking hole in the body's head. The pain is unbearable. This will be my final entry. When I'm gone, the energy can do as it pleases. I want it to continue living in the body. I just can't take the pain anymore. I will forever love the energy. I'm sorry. What? Sure. Whatever you say, pal. The game does look good. I need its key. Ooh. Okay, I'm ending the project. As a matter of fact, I'm ending all my projects. The energy is all I need. It promised me it will never leave. I now belong to it, and it belongs to me. Awesome. Need a key. Ooh. Breaker. 
I need to- well, of course you fucking do. My head is feeling so relaxed. The energy is now within me. I gave it a body so it can too experience what it feels like being human. What? We are now sharing this body. I will no longer be calling it my own body. This is how we will be expressing our love for each other. One body, one love, one life. All right, you crazy kook. What? What am I- okay, I can't jump in here. Oh, I can jump. What is this jump? What is that? Okay. Well, I mean, where's the key? Oh my god. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh, this is gay. I mean, I know there's gonna be something in here because they wouldn't put all these drawers here without anything. Okay, diary entry. It's not what I wanted, but... It hurts so much knowing that the love of your life does not love you anymore. I have no idea what it's doing when it takes over, but every time I get a turn with the body, I'm in agonizing pain. I'm struggling to cope with this. Cool. Cool story, dude. So cool. Oh, excuse me. We got- I found some mechanics. Oh, dude. Power box key. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Taco power. Yes. Oh, okay. Power's on. Nice. Wait, what? This whole area- Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, okay. Now I can explore these areas. Okay, there's- There's definitely something patrolling. Yeah, this area just feels like the kind of area where I'd be chased. Oh, hold on. Hour arm. I found the hour arm of a clock. Okay, this is a little puzzle elements. I'm sorry. Okay. Clearly, okay, clearly he's he's on the move already, which is fantastic. I, I don't know if I can hide from him. Also, this reflection, something wrong about it. I, don't, I can't quite place it. There's just something. On Let's try furniture service. So this involves uh, uh, a neighborhood that's just... Pretty much a ghost town. No one lives in that neighborhood anymore, but you're picking up the last of furniture because you I guess you're a repo man or something. Um Yeah. BBA Game Studios. Dude, this looks promising. Look at this. Present. Look at that sky. That's an image on Google for sure. <laughs> Furniture service. Spook. Oh, I like that. That was that was a cool way to introduce the the menu. Really cool. Newspaper. It was 15 years ago that all people disappeared from the street within a year. Meanwhile, the houses are dilapidated and should be demolished. Only a few pieces of furniture are left. A mover will remove them today. Interesting. October 26. Ooh, look at this. Oh, we got a camera? Okay. I assume this is the place. Ooh. Spooky spook. I uh, press tab to open your clipboard. And, okay. Uh, right house. Okay, left house. Okay, so, okay, these are the things I'm getting. Okay, interesting. So it reminds me of that game, um... Oh, what was it called? Organized Thief. I think that's what it was called. Um, and you're robbing this person's house of, like, specific stuff. And it was a very interesting game. Uh, the concept was never done before. Okay, box, plant, right house. But that's that's what this reminds me of, honestly. Also, there's a weird tear in the side of the screen. I'm sure you guys can see that on the right. Okay, so this is the left house. So I need a box and a plant. So I need this. Okay, excuse me, sir. You're gonna have to... I'm sorry. This is kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. That was, that was annoying. Let's go and get you out of here. There's... I kind of want to go up there. This house is really just devoid of life. All right. I mean, I guess I'll... Okay, wrong area. I wish I could throw it. I guess we... Yeah, okay. So bring the object here. Gotcha. Just load it up. And then... What is it? A TV. That's all we need from this house. Oh, we're going to get spooked in this house. 100%. So we're going to explore more than just... These two houses. I guess I'll take the TV. <laughs> and, uh... I'll let, fuck. I'll be on my way. No harm, no foul. This is too easy. Something's gonna happen. I mean, I, I brought it... Oh, okay. So I have to, like, actually put it... Okay. That makes more sense. I have to actually put it <laughs> by the doors, at least, so it can go in the back doors. Do I just get in and go? I... Was that the whole game?
Okay, it wasn't, thankfully. So we got here. Okay, so yeah, we 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 do more than just the two houses. Cool. Nice houses. I'm I'm sorry. What? What was that? It just seems like one of those uh, ROM hacks that was just abandoned. Like an empty, just an empty game. It was never finished. That's what it feels like. And I don't know if that was the intention they were going for, but I actually kind of feel like that'd be a better route to take for sure with the game. I feel like that'd make it more spooky. These boxes. Jackass. Oh. Oh, you made it to, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, it trash, boop, wait, hold on, do I need, no, I can't pick this up, okay, all right, and then, trash can outside, hmm, I didn't see one, what the fuck, oh, this trash can, of course, of course, Yoink. Uh, I guess let's get out of here. <laughs> hmm. Very subtle horror so far. Okay. Chair. <laughs> All right. There's going to be a scream. I know it. Excuse me? There's no more furniture in this part of the house. I'm sorry. We want to explain what this is? The door. Okay, okay, this is being a little difficult. Okay, this is. Wow, that is extremely difficult to open that door. I'm not gonna lie. Let's just go ahead and get this chair. Get the. Get, get, let's go. There's some spooky dude living here. Spooky Spectre. Boop. Okay, let's go. Okay, box. Not a fan of this. Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared the fuck out of me. Why? I don't know. It's a little spooky. A little, a little, a little spooky. Is this our last house? Oh, tell me. Oh, tell me this is the last house right here. Anything. What? Okay. I like the overlay. The overlay is interesting. I, I, it's really nice. If maybe it looked a little realistic. Because <laughs> these trees are like literally floating. Half of them are floating on the mountains. I'm sorry. What? Good night. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh dude. Oh jump scare. This long ass corridor, darkness ahead of me. I'm not waiting on Christmas. This is a little eerie though. The concept's really interesting. Oh. Well, uh Okay, so this game is called Way to Heaven, and it's supposed to be a very weird game. And these characters are on the loading on the main screen, the loading screen look like people from Amnesia. Make a progress to unlock the door. Make a progress. What? Oh, hey, bud. Oh, okay. We are short. Holy shit. Very open and expanse area you got here, man. A coffin? He's healthy. What? I think it's uh, I think it's time to move on, bud. Your wife's in a coffin. I don't, I don't know if you know this. Oh, I know that picture. Oh, what? It's the same one upside down. Interesting. A kidnapped man. Okay, check your baby in room number four. Look at this door. What's going on with this door here? Okay, this is four. Okay. What's up, bud? My baby in here? 
Oh, there my baby. What the flying fuck? What the? It's a beautiful fountain. Yeah, it sure is. What? Put baby in blender? Excuse me? Alright. Cool. Mm. A hamburger. It looks like my baby. Yeah? Sure does. Why? Take the kidnapped man in storage room too. Okay. I was really thinking he was going to be missing. I literally just picked him up. Do I just put him on this little comfy ass couch? If I fall asleep here, I may not be able to wake up. Okay, so don't put him in there. Oh, do I put him in here with the bodies? Yeah, these guys look like they're from Amnesia. These look like the, the, the player models from Amnesia. Okay. I guess I'll leave. Go watch TV. <laughs> Sorry, what? Run that by me again? Hey, bud. How you doing? Oh, dude, what the fuck? Oh, this is the guy from the picture. I don't want to sleep here. There's something in the ceiling. No shit. Whoa! Whoa, what? Okay. Make a boat. Room one. How do I make a boat? What? Hold on, what? 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 Take a boat and run the way is open. Alright. What? This is so weird. Oh my god. The developer was not kidding. Meaning of life doesn't exist, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Nice water. That was a very weird game. Like, almost more weird than I would like. Because, like, I like surreal games. <laughs> Fuck. Like, Human Nikki. Human is a really good surreal psychological game. With horror elements, for sure. Okay, don't want to get copyrighted. It was a very weird game. I I'll definitely say probably the weirdest I've played in a while. This house looks familiar. Um, what? What? Safe mode act? I did not expect that. Press escape to get control of your mouse cursor. Type your name. Yep, that's my name. You can open this console anytime pressing escape. Type anything to continue. Ooh, Ooh the music. I used to have dinner with my family here. Great times. Weird. Ooh, I like that layout. That's really, really cool. A top floor. That is a big ass key. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, dude, it's like PT. We had dinner an hour ago. Or it was yesterday. Cool. Spooky. It was locked. Music's a little off putting. What? Is the key randomly, like, moved? Weird. I thought the key was in the main entrance. Yeah, I thought so, too. Let me go back. <laughs> wow, okay, who's pulling the fast one over, man? Mm -hmm. Proceed to use the door. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, corrupt save file. Why do I feel weird? It's because you're repeating and going. I used to have dinner. Here was somebody. Who were they? Definitely wasn't me. Oh, this is this is actually legitimately creepy. I like this. That ambience is just. What even is that? Ooh. This is a 
nice kitchen. It looks kind of familiar. You think? I'm hearing some crying. And there's the key. I need your help picking this up. I guess I just type help. Pick up. I did not mean to do that. You can try to change that. Oh god. Oh, that sensitivity. Interesting if... What is happening? Don't ask me, I have no idea. What do we whisper about, huh? One of these days there's gonna be something down here at the bottom. Oh shit, everything's moving. Kitchen does not exist. What? What is this room? Have I been here before? Why do I feel weird? What the fuck? <laughs> Look at this shit. That's insane. Look at this vase. That is a huge vase. This is very creepy. I will say that. Ooh, key! Okay, search for object key found at room bathroom. What is your name? I'm sorry. Um, Matt Damon. That's my name. Wait, what'd that say? Deleting all objects? No. That music is just so fucked. Oh, glitchy door. Ooh. Who are you? You look kind of familiar. I look? You can see me? Do I know you? What is your name? I like how I can actually still understand all that gibberish. Ooh, I don't need the key this time. I don't need the key. I'm my own person. Okay, why do I feel weird deleting for 242 files? What is your name? You look kinda... Deleting, okay. Cool. What is a kitchen? <laughs> Who are you? Just have dinner. Why do I feel... Okay, so it's just repeating the same stuff. Well, I gotta type end. Hey guys, welcome to uh, Jack's birthday party. Also, what is this sensitivity? Ooh, got a little cake. Nice. Uh, dear Jack, your father and I thought it would be best to let you sleep this afternoon. You look tired and your party will take place tonight, 10 p.m. Don't be late. We will be waiting for you in the dining room. Dinning room is what it says. Happy birthday, Jack. Mom and dad. Oh, you give me the cake. The cake with all the patriotic colors. Look at that. Green, blue, white. Josh, are you colorblind? Oh my god. Red. Today is Halloween and also my birthday. I hate the fact that I have birthday at this date. Anyway, I'm going to sleep now because tonight we will probably have a party that I didn't want to have. Oh, Jack. Why don't you want to celebrate your birthday? Is it because you're 23? Is that why? I'm sorry. Why are my hallways this thin and long? I... Take forever to get anywhere. Jesus. Ooh. Bathroom. Oh, we got a key. Nice. That's just flickering in here. I wonder. I wonder if this key goes back to this room. Back here. Yes, it does. Yes, sir. Oh, what? My cake's here? What? That's weird. Happy birthday, Jack. We're in the dining room. Please come join us. I'm impatient. Ooh, dining room, huh? Ooh. I like this simple concept. Celebrating a birthday party. But it goes wrong. Dining room, huh? I'll try to find it in my big ass extensive house. I guess I could go back to my room if I have to. Because this door's locked over here, too. Okay, the key's back here. Interesting. Weird. Oh, hey, bud. How you doing, man? Hello. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, what? <laughs> you know, it'd be even more disturbing. Like, a good idea for a horror movie. Or a horror game. Say your parents die, or they go missing, and you, you're looking in the house for them. 
the TV turns on by itself, or you'll turn on the TV and there's a tape already inside, and it'll just like play the tape, and you'll see what happened to your parents. That'd be pretty freaky. So was okay. There wasn't. I was about to say, was there a key back there? I didn't see one. The key is in the kitchen. Oh, is it? Hey, bud. I'm just gonna take this. Thanks. That looks gross. It's nasty. Gain some weight. You're just skinning bones, dude. Jesus Christ. Eat some chicken or something. I don't know, man. Oh. Oh, long way. Oh, no. Oh, God, guys. Body. Body. There's nothing behind you. Do not look. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look. Ugh. Did you see the face on that thing? Happy Halloween. And thanks for playing. Hope I didn't spook you. You sure did. You got me spooked. Dang it.